Hey everyone, Kachi Vestry back to another video for today. So let's talk about Roblox. Company reported earnings last night. At the time of making this video, the stock is down around 16%. Yesterday during the day, the stock was up 7%, so it gave all of that back and then some. Now, in the report, you will see the numbers are good, but it missed on the estimate. So they reported negative earnings per share of 25 cents compared to negative 13 cents and revenue of $568.8 million compared to $772 million. That was the consensus, so a miss on that. That's why the stock is taking a huge hit. But we're gonna have a look at a couple of key metrics, a couple of numbers and more information that they're giving us in the report. They're not giving guidance, so there is that. Now, it's important to note that if you think that Roblox is just a game, this is not for you. Obviously, Roblox is a game, but it's much more than that. It's also a platform, a platform where people can just come, play games, or maybe not play games, just enjoy the time in the virtual world, maybe for brands to engage with their customers, you name it, because brands are building Roblox world to engage with their customers, to maybe monetize in different ways. We're going to talk about all of that in this video. So Roblox is a game, but also a platform. So first up, a couple of words from the CEO and founder, David Bazuki. So they're still having that goal of connecting 1 billion people. Obviously right now, that's far from that, but this just show you, obviously 1 billion people playing a game doesn't make much sense. But 1 billion people on a platform engaging with each other makes a little bit more sense. Now, how do they plan on reaching that goal? So reaching that 1 billion people requires us to meet three key objectives, growing in international markets, attracting users in older age demographics, aging up that's called, and expanding our platform breadth of use. So first of all, growing in international markets means that they're going to grow in markets where they cannot monetize as much. So if you see that average coming down, average booking per user coming down, that's basically because they're expanding in markets where obviously they're not going to monetize as much as the United States, Canada, or even Europe. Second point, it's the aging up. It's the most bearish, let's say, point right now is the fact that obviously Roblox is not a game that I see 30 year old, 25 year old, or maybe more play. It's more of those 13, 10 year old, 12 year old or so. But then again, if the platform evolves with time, just think about it. What were you using 10 years ago? If you're young, let's say I'm 27. So 10 years ago, I was 17. So I'm using maybe the same thing I'm using today, right? But let's say 15 years ago, 15 years ago, I was playing a couple of games on PlayStation that I'm still playing today, Call of Duty, FIFA, you name it. So if Roblox manages to grow with their users, grow the platform, attract, maybe continue to attract those same users as they grow older, then yes, then maybe they can reach that goal. And then, like I said before, they have chosen to forego quarterly guidance. They believe that it helps the company stay focused on the long view rather than quarter to quarter results. Fundamentally, we have never put short term gain over long term value creation. And then they talk about the four incredible companies that decided to bring their brands onto Roblox. So the four companies are Vans, Ralph Lauren, NASCAR and Nike. We've talked about Nike in another video. They also had a partnership with NFL launching NFL Tycoon where people can engage with everything NFL related all year long. And as we move closer to this, let's say metaverse, next internet type of things, you will see more and more brands build stuff in the virtual world, whether it's going to be with Roblox, Facebook's Horizon, Minecraft, Fortnite, doesn't matter. You'll see more and more of those deals and partnerships announced. Now, before I jump into the key metrics and the interesting numbers, I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. You all know how much I love researching new stocks and trying to find the next best investment. So I'm proud to partner with The Motley Fool to bring you 10 free stock picks from their popular product, Stock Advisor. Now, Stock Advisor has beat the market by more than 4x. So all you have to do is go to fool.com forward slash couch investor to get your free 10 stock picks now. All right, now let's go over the key highlights here. They tell us that user and engagement growth right now are being driven primarily 
by international expansion and growth in user age 13 and older, which is great, which means that they're already doing two of the three things they need to reach that 1 billion goal. As for bookings, that's a given. It's driven primarily by the United States and United Kingdom, which are opening up from COVID restrictions and returning to school and work. Now, while engagement and payer conversion are higher than they were going into the pandemic in these countries, this is where year over year comparisons are currently toughest. If you watch one year ago, I see a huge, huge increase. So if you make this comparison, it might be deceiving. That's why year over year bookings comparison should improve starting May, June timeframe. They continue by saying that bookings growth in Q3 and Q4 of this year should be much closer to user growth rates than they were in January. And their exit growth rates this year are expected to be good indicators of 2023 growth. With most companies that have gained so much during this pandemic, 2023 or exiting 2022 going into 2023 will be a great indicator to see how the company is really doing. And one thing I want to touch on before we move into the other numbers is this part right here, the Roblox developer community. That's why I said this is more than just a game. This is a platform because you have a huge, huge developer community. And as you see, they earned half a billion dollars in 2021. Goal for Roblox was 500 million. So they exceeded that. Only two years ago, that amount was $112 million. So they've basically grown it by 5x or 119% compounded over the past two years. Now I'm sure some of you might ask, but isn't this ridiculous? Isn't this costing Roblox so much money? Why can't they do this themselves? Well, it's the same with YouTube, user-generated content. That's why YouTube is so big. Same with Roblox. If you give the opportunity for developers to build their own games, if you give the opportunity to content creators, famous people on the internet to build their own world, their own games on Roblox, that will increase engagement, which means one person that goes into one game might suddenly go into other games as well and spend more money, spend more Robux. So it makes sense to incentivize those developers to build on Roblox, monetize the content as well, because obviously Roblox earns from that. Now, finally, the big metrics here. So daily active users were 49.5 million in this last quarter, up 33% from one year ago and 61% compounded from two years ago. Hours engaged increased 28% to 10.8 billion and up 71% from two years ago. As for bookings, they reached $770.1 million, up 20% year over year and up 80.5% on a two years. As for adjusted EBITDA and free cash flow, those were positive as well. So in Q4, adjusted EBITDA was $168 million or 21.8% of bookings. And as for the full year, adjusted EBITDA totaled $674 million or 24.7% of bookings. As for free cash flow for all of 2021 was $558 million up from $411.2 million in 2020. So quite nice there, positive numbers. Now, as always, they give us some numbers for the first month of the quarter. So daily active users were 54.7 million, up 32% year over year, and already higher than what we got in Q4. So that's a very, very nice indicator. Hours engaged up 26%. Revenue is estimated to be between 203 and 206 million dollars, up 65% at the midpoint year over year. And this is the number probably a lot of people are looking at. Estimated average booking per daily active user were between $4.02 and $4.08. And That's down 22 to 23% year over year, driven primarily by comparisons to peak COVID period. But also because they are expanding into other international markets where monetizing is not as easy. So that was Roblox. I will be adding Roblox to this channel's portfolio. You can follow it on stock card. Link will be down in the description below. It's free to follow. If you want to upgrade to a premium version for the platform, you can do that. Use the code couch investor. Now, as for the quarter, it was a good quarter, right? Obviously year over year comparison might be a bit misleading. First numbers we got in January were pretty positive. It's not a cheap stock right now, but it's down 16%, which is already much better. I believe it's trading at around 20 times sales. So not cheap, but still growing, still has huge ambitions and 
the Roblox brand keeps on getting bigger and bigger. Now do share your thoughts down in the comments below what you think about Roblox, what you think about this quarter, share it down in the comments below. So if you're interested, the next video today will be about Airbnb. So stay tuned for that. And if you like this type of videos, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, maybe hit that subscribe button. As always guys, take care, stay safe and see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.